So I showed you what the inside of the Surge XL looks like, and I showed you what I was kind of planning on doing. Well, after messing with that, because there was that neutral battery wire in there, because the battery charges in there, because it's running the LEDs, and then it kind of has that MOSFET so that you can do the different single shot, three shot, and automatic, I was running into problems. So I even reached out to some OG Australian hardcore gel blasters to try to get their ideas on how to wire that and thought I had it figured out, but nothing was working. And um, a lot of the solder points on that little board with the Surge XL were not done very well, and then they'd pop off, and then it was just a mess, and things were not working no matter what. So rather than scrap the whole project, I thought, let me go ahead, let me make a cool, really cool looking Surge Blaster. We're gonna only have automatic and um, you know off and on, really, so just automatic and safety because I got rid of that board altogether because it's just not going to end up working with what I wanted, uh, especially with relocating the battery of the buffer tube because it really wants to use that special battery and charger. And that's just electronics that are um, beyond me. And so instead, like I said, we're just gonna go ahead and have it set up straight as a more kind of regular automatic safety blaster, but it should still shoot uh, hard and fast it just is going to um, miss out on the single shot and the three shot burst which is kind of disappointing but hey that's how these turn out sometimes right so you can see here i've kind of rewired everything i just end up using electrical tape just to keep the wires where i want them i mean obviously there's no real need to do that but i just uh, do that just so that the wires stay out of the way when i'm putting it all back together otherwise everything's been kind of spliced together nicely. And you can see we got a nice long power cable here to, for the JST2 pin, uh, pin kind of battery, which is the one that most of my batteries are, so that we can go ahead and reposition the battery into the buffer tube. So it makes it a lot easier to switch the battery, right? Because that's what I was you know, primarily looking to do. And then of course, painting it out. Now, since we had so many plastic pieces from Gel Blaster, factory plastic takes all paint pretty good most of the time so i could use some of the metallic paints that the uh, 3d printing plastic doesn't seem to take as well and i had a lot of this paint around so i wanted to use it up so you see we went with the gold on a lot of it right so the big pieces are gold we've got like a silver metallic here on these pieces that were gray and then for accent colors i did this kind of navy it's called an evening navy and this is um a Rust-Oleum product, an ultra matte evening navy. And then we're also going to have some black mixed in for some of the rails, obviously the stock, and some of the accessories. So um, printed, found a piece that I could print that will work to have a rail back here on the side, kind of behind the hopper, and then go ahead and mount something like this offset right here so that you can have a site that's offset that goes around kind of the hopper, right? So we got that going there. Um, buffer tube piece. I found a buffer tube adapter piece. Well, it wasn't, excuse me, it was a Nerf stock adapter piece. So I basically modified that so that I could use a buffer tube, a screw, you know, a screw in buffer tube on it. So that's what I did here. So this was kind of a piece I found and then modified a little bit so that I could put a buffer tube on it, right? Other than that, spots here, like where I took that off, and obviously it doesn't look really pretty, but that's okay because a navy blue plate is going to go right over it. And then I was going to do these little mini kind of side rails right there. Uh, we're going to have some rails on the top. Took this, sanded that flat so there'll be a nice rail right at the front right there. Okay, painted that out. We'll have a nice threaded tip so that you could still use a tracer, any sort of suppressor that you're looking to use. And then got a cool front grip here that's going to go down here on the standard rail. And it's just a nice front grip that's actually got, you know, this different piece. I'm going to have to bend, um, bend that a little bit to get that to click in. And then there's another piece here that will be accented with this silver kind of color. So that is the build plan here with the Surge XL. It's definitely going to look really sweet. A little disappointing. We're going to miss out on that uh, three-shot burst and single shot. But, hey, things like that happen all the time. And I thought I could still put together a really cool blaster. And because this is a top loader and because of the way everything connects here, I could not figure out any way to reuse this gearbox in something else because that was also something I explored. 
So there's my build plan for the Surge XL. I'm excited to get it all put together. Uh, I'm just gonna let it sit a little for another day so the paint really has time to cure because I found with these metallic paints especially, they need extra time to cure. So I'm gonna give them extra time to cure. Then we'll put it all together. We'll shoot it and hopefully we're hitting that around 250 FPS mark. Comments, questions, post them below. Let me know what you think. Do you like the look? Do you like the colors? Of course, all those comments help me out and all those likes help me out. Make sure you're subscribed and please participate in all the monthly giveaways. Thanks.